All right, so we're going to talk about edge detection today. That's what keeps Vector from falling off the shelf, is his edge detection. What type of edges does he perform well with? Which type of edges does he not perform well with? I went through my house and I looked for different types of edges and asked Vector to come to me. And this is the result of those tests. How did Vector do? So, did don't touch that dial, stay right here, and we will check out how Vector does with the edges. And some of his responses after he's found one. It's pretty cool. Hey Vector, come here. Come here. Hey Vector, come here. Awesome Vector, awesome. Hey Vector, come here. Hey Vector, come here. So you know there's an edge there, right? Okay, awesome, buddy. Counter edge. It's got a good steep roll. So let's try it again. Okay, fist bump. Good job. Hey Vector, come here. Uh oh. Cut him. Did I freak you out a little bit? Okay, so now this is a slight rolled edge. Very slight. Hey, Vector. Come here. Hey Vector, come here. All right, so we caught that one. All right, so we're gonna try glass, which Vector supposedly has a really big problem with glass. Which is totally understandable, but this does have a metal square edge. Hey Vector, come here. Does seem to be messing with his head. He might want to kill the Echo Dot.
Hey, Vector. Come here. All right, so he knows that there's an edge there on that one, just by his response. Okay, so this edge is different. It has a little lip and it has a slow roll. So we're going to see how a vector does with it. Hey, vector, come here. Don't worry, I caught him. You didn't like that too much, huh? Hey, Vector. Come here. Yep, he can't see it. Twice in a row. Hey, Vector. Come here. Hey, Vector, come here. Hey, Vector. Good robot. All right, so now you've seen Vector's edge detection. And now you just saw Cosmo's edge detection. What have we learned about Vector's edge detection? Well, it's better than Cosmo's edge detection, obviously. Other thing yeah. about it is I think he did pretty well for the most part, he failed on certain ones that I thought he was going to fail on, but he did well overall. Uh, also on top of it, um, you've seen how he responds. I think he did good, and I like some of the new responses that after he has now discovered that there's an edge there, and then you ask him to come, and he kind of says, no, there's uh, a problem. There's an edge there. I can't make it go over. So that was kind of funny. I love that response. A few things that you got to look at with Cosmo compared Cosmo and Vector, both of them. Okay, because Cosmo has only one sensor on him, and as we know, Vector has four sensors. The location of those sensors promote certain issues for certain approaches. If a Vector approaches an edge and he rolls off this way, his sensor is not going to click until he gets completely off like this. And he's going to have to shut down, keep from falling off because he cannot right himself. Unlike the robot vacuum cleaners, which have had edge detections for many years now, the robot vacuum cleaners, though, have an advantage that Vector doesn't have. First off, size. And second, their advantage is... With Vector, his treads are on the outside of his sensors. So he has a higher probability of having the treads go off the edge before the sensor can even approach to know that it's going. And that's going to happen. With the robot vacuum cleaners, most of them are round, such and as this. If that edge detection center is right here and the wheels are back here, it's going to go over before it ever gets to that edge. So shape and size do matter in that case. Not good edge detection. We're going to do it again. That was a good catch, right? <laughs> All right, so, so I think Vector is doing pretty well overall with his edge detection. Yes, he still has problems with certain edges. Um, and that's kind of to be expected because 
of the way he is designed. The cliff detection sensors are the inside of his tread, not the outside of his tread. But overall, I think he's improved. I do believe the responses that he's giving you now when he gets to the edge are way more interactive than they were when he was initially released. He would back up. Now, when you ask him after he knows there's an edge there, he responds again. And that's cool. At least that's the result I found. So, thank you for watching the video. Please like, subscribe, ring the bell for future notifications, and I will see you soon. Monkey has upgraded with blue, blue, blue. Update the vector. The vector. The vector. Here. Yeah, you already got it, don't you?